Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing good. So today I'm going to show you how to add a checkbox column into your data table. So let's get started. So let me show you one demo. Here you can see first column is your checkbox. So let me show you what I have created. I have created this view. Here you can see I have left first one blank where our checkbox will be there. Then there is database column that I have fetched that is name, class, mark and gender. Now let me show you database. So in database you can see I'm having five columns and all these are listed in my table as well. You can see name, class, mark and gender same column in my DB as well. So let me show you code now and here you can see I'm having home controller. I have loaded home model in this and I'm fetching all student records. You can see get record function here I'm getting all the student records and I'm displaying it in my index file that is my view file here I have created table and and listed all the students so in table you can see first column is blank so here we will be adding our checkbox so firstly we will be adding a basic data table to our this table so now let's go to documentation and uh, copy the link of data table so it's a JS file I'm going to add it in a script so in SRC paste the link now I need CSS as well so write link and now copy CSS so copy the link and paste in head section so now let's add data table to this table so with the ID I'm going to do it right dollar hash example dot data table so this will give a basic uh, data table structure let's so now let's go and check in browser refresh so now you can see pagination is added in this search is added and shorting is added so that's what basic uh, data table structure is so now let's move to adding checkbox in data table so here you can see in for installation there is link provided and uh, script provided for uh, checkbox so I'm just going to copy and paste so link I'm going to add in my header so paste in head so in link HTTPS is missing so paste it so now let me just check it once so everything is working fine so now after this we need to pass options in our data table that we need to enable checkbox for our column so for that we need to pass option let's say column def and inside that right say target so our first column is our checkbox one so target it's going to be zero that is column number now checkboxes now inside checkbox right select row to true so it's like if checkbox is checked then that row will be selected now let's go and uh, refresh in browser now you can see checkboxes are visible in a uh, column zero so I can select and deselect I can select uh, all as well that option is also there so now I will show you how to get these selected checkboxes so I'm creating a button let's say save give class primary give ID let's say save button so in script I'll be handling click event of this button so write uh, button ID let's say save button and write uh, on click inside that write function so now here I'll be getting the checkboxes so now let's hold data table into a variable so write back table and table equals to uh, example dot data table now inside uh, save button write uh, where selected row and from table we are going to fetch column zero so write table dot column zero now write dot checkboxes and checkboxes that are selected so in selected row we will be getting an array so i'm going to fetch each element of it so write uh, dollar each inside that pass selected row then in function write key and let's say selected uh, let's say student id now write uh, console.log 
and pass student ID in that. Now let's go and check in browser. So refresh and uh, inspect. Now click on check boxes and save. Now you can see in console there is a uh, one row is there that is blank. We are getting blank check boxes. So the reason behind is that that I have not passed user ID in a uh, TD. So write PHP record and pass ID in that. So if now save and refresh. Now if I select. Now uh, let's say click on save. Now you can see we are having different uh, IDs and you can match this with selected row only one, two, four, eight ID are displaying. So now you are getting your uh, selected rows, basically selected checkboxes. So here you can hold it into a, let's say array, right where row IDs and uh, in row ID pass uh, student ID basically. And after that, you can send it uh, to your server using Ajax. You can uh, also change it into a string, let's say comma separated. Like it's upon you how to handle your data. So in this video, I have shown you how to enable checkboxes in data table and how to fetch data from it, like how to get selected checkboxes, selected raw data into JavaScript. After this, you can send your data to your server. So that's all in this video. I hope you like this video. If you have any doubt related to this topic, then you can comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel.